Coach Tom Avery here, head pro at the Consistent Tennis Wins Academy in Naples, Florida, along with Dave Scholl, head pro at Verona Walk in Naples, Florida. Today's lesson is on going out to meet the ball. Don't let the ball come to you. Go out and meet it. And we're going to talk about the benefits of doing that. So stay tuned. Okay, going out to meet the ball. Don't let it come to you. Go out and meet it. Now, you can't do this every time. Sometimes you are on the defense. But if you can go out to meet it, there's a lot of benefits involved. You know, my coach used to tell me, Dave, he'd say, this isn't the post office. <laughs> there's no deliveries. You know, the ball's not going to be delivered to you. And that was a good point, especially on the return of serve. You have to think there's no deliveries. You have to try and go out and meet the ball. But even in ground stroke rallies, it's very important. So what are some of the, the advantages, Dave? What do you think? Uh, I think there are a number of advantages. One is you're going to get more power because there's Absolutely. a bigger weight transfer the into weight the shot. transfer into the shot. Um, yeah. You know, many times I'll see players uh, letting the ball, waiting for it to come to them, and th now they're in this position, yeah. falling backward, yeah. opening their face and no power. Yeah. You know, yeah. two bad things. Um, also, uh, I'm going to take the ball earlier, so I'm taking time away from my opponent. Taking Not. time away. When you step in like that, now the ball's coming back to them a little quicker. So you're taking time away. Yeah. Important point. And also I think a big factor too is it tends to uh, make me meet the ball in front of me more. Yeah. When I'm waiting on the ball, I usually wait too long to initiate my swing. And now the ball has gotten behind me, even yeah. though I had more time. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, and I think a key factor that ties in with that is positioning yourself in a way so you can make a move forward. Mm -hmm. If I'm standing here and a ball lands here, I'm not going to be able to advance towards that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if I'm hitting a shot here, I want to get back far enough so that hopefully that next ball, I can advance into the court mm -hmm. to hit it. Yeah. I think, too, just the aggressive mindset of going out to meet the ball, I know that particular tip has really helped me with return of serve, especially on a second serve, let's say a kick serve that's got a lot of spin. You really want to attack those shots and go out to meet them. You've got to take control of the spin. You can't let the spin play you. So going out to meet it, lots of benefits. Dave and I are going to show you a few practice tips that we would use when we're practicing this particular point. Okay, you'll see on every one of these returns that I, you know, I'm starting slightly behind the baseline. And when I'm making contact with the ball, I'm well inside the baseline. So I'm going out to meet it. That's key. There I run around it, hit the forehand. But again, stepping in. Okay, so Tom is going to feed me some balls that are not a full-blown lob, but a, a ball that's a little bit loopy. And I'm going to try to come into the court and take that ball before it gets high, on the rise. So I'm going to rush my opponent in that way, and I'm not getting pushed back into the court. Okay, Dave does a nice job here with this, you know, short, loopy stuff that I'm feeding him here. He's stepping in on all of the shots, but he recovers back towards the baseline. This is a good drill. It gets you in that mindset, that aggressive mindset of moving forward. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video. Remember, the tennis court is not the post office. No <laughs> deliveries. Go out to meet the ball. Honestly, you know, you can't do that every time, but when you can, you're going to get some great benefits. More power. Uh, more depth on your shots. So great tip to think about when yes, you're practicing, right? I there. think a good way to practice this is if you have access to a ball machine, yeah, ball machine. set up a scenario where a ball, you know, is, is maybe going to come a little high and bounce up high and charge that ball and take it on the rise. Yeah. Or yeah. any scenario where you're going to force yourself to charge the ball. Yeah. Get you in a nice aggressive mindset. Okay. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Um, we don't want you to miss any future videos. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post those below. If you want my free, I have a free serve course, a free forehand and backhand course. If you want those courses, please check the link over here or in the description box below. All the best. 
and happy hitting. Take care. Thanks for watching.